The early 1950s were exciting times with unknown outcomes for designers of military aircraft and missiles. As the U.S. Navy pondered its place in the post-war era, the deployment of naval aircraft in unconventional ways included notions of vertical takeoff turboprop fighters that could launch from warships smaller than the massive aircraft carriers coming of age. Vintage Navy footage circa October 1954 shows the Convair XFY-1 Pogo experimental vertical takeoff and landing fighter prototype. An Allison T-40 turboprop engine gave the Pogo power, spinning contra-rotating three-blade Curtis electric propellers. A series of vertical takeoffs and landings preceded the first transition to horizontal flight, made later than this film. The Pogo was said to have a top speed in the 600 mile per hour range. Had it gone operational, firepower was to be provided by four 20mm cannons and as many as 48 folding fin rockets. Skilled test pilots could land Pogo with difficulty, looking over their shoulder while approaching the ground, but this was not considered viable for average pilots to embrace. The tail-sitting XFY Pogo became a curious dead end of outside-the-box thinking. Grouped with this film is a launch of a Regulus-1 cruise missile circa 1954 from the aircraft carrier USS Hancock CVA-19, according to caption data accompanying the film. Regulus-1 was a turbojet-powered nuclear-capable cruise missile that was tested aboard different surface ships and achieved limited operational capability with several submarines. The Hancock footage shows efforts to operate conventional aircraft after the Regulus missile launch probably to determine the extent to which Regulus deployments aboard an aircraft carrier would disrupt regular operations. Thanks for watching this classic footage from the National Archives. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. Take a look at our channel and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see.